less than everybody. <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Blazing Beaks. Oh, yeah. It's a roguelike. It's a shooter. It's amazing. You've got a few different characters that you can play. It reminds me something of, like, Nuclear Throne. Or maybe... I don't know, Binding of Isaac, sort of? You find different items, you collect coins, you can buy a bunch of different stuff. Let's uh, get some more info about these characters. You've got the Parrot, starts with 3 HP, has the teeny tiny laser gun. Dealing damage to enemies reduces their walking speed. 40% lower cooldown for active abilities, 70% lower chance for a coin drop. So, I really like the Parrot a whole lot. Teeny tiny laser gun is pretty weak though. Duck has the Drizzler, 5 out of 5 HP, which is really, really nice. Not shooting for one second reloads your weapon for the next shot three times faster. Really cool. But it also has a 50% lower weapon range, which can be troubling. Platypus, Pistol Spec 2, gets additional loot by killing marked enemies until Indicator disappears, has one key. So you got one key to go through a locked door. Marked enemies, when you're playing the Platypus, have a coin or a key above their head. You cannot mark enemies yourself. I had to go to the dev to, to question that. And big thanks to uh, to him for handing out the key to me on Twitter. All I had to do was DM him, and here we are. Here we are! This game looked really interesting to me. I could not keep my hands off. So yeah, two, two out of two HP for Platypus. That is super, super low. Seems like a really hard character to play. I've not played with him as much. Got the Bluebird. Uh, starts with three out of four HP and a pistol. Any damage taken having one HP left will decrease your max HP, and by entering the boss level you will refill health, converting every five coins that you have into one HP. So that's really nice if you're not able to find a shop or something like that. And also, taking damage when you have one HP left, it's nice to just have your HP total go down instead of completely dying. But some enemies uh, will hit you really hard, so you could lose all of that in no time at all. Finally, we have the chicken. He's got the swift. Probably my favorite character. Uh, can kill marked enemies in one shot. Basically, they have an X above their head for the chicken. Shoots inaccurately while running, but also has an 80% higher weapon range. So that is amazing. Almost double weapon range. But, uh, yeah. The shooting inaccurately while running is not really a problem because of all that range that you have. So let's try the chicken out. 4 out of 4 HP. Sounds good to me. Let's do this thing. Oh, we gotta go here. Chicken! Yay, chicken! I don't think there are any secret characters to unlock. I did check out the wiki, so, um... As, as far as I can tell, that that is not a thing. But wouldn't it be cool? I don't know if this game is complete 100%. But whether it is or not, I plan to uh, play it quite a little bit. Got a heart there, but I didn't take any hits, so... We'll head on down. Head on down, get through the swamp. I want to take down these tomato looking guys first because they have uh, some nasty guns. Nothing else in the swamps can really hit me. And yeah, you can see that the uh, the range or the, the gun is like super inaccurate while you're moving. You definitely don't want to shoot while you're moving unless uh, it's a panic sort of situation. So chicken doing relatively well. I like this a lot. That acid on the floor can hurt you as well as enemies. I really like that enemies are able to be hurt by um, their own trips, tricks and traps. And there we go. Another room cleared. Piece of cake so far. <laughs> the swamp is relatively easy to get through. Once you get to uh, something else, it's, it's going to be something else. I'll tell you that much. You can see there a uh, frog kind of appeared. And we have up in the corner a, a lock with some red gas coming out of it. Some red goo, which is never a good sign. But you can pick this up. When you get to a shop, you can exchange it for uh, a little bit of extra coin or items or something like that. Oh, here's another one, a little bomb. So let's see what this will do, how this will affect my character. 70% chance to break a key on trying to use it. Well, I don't have any keys, so I will grab this up. And you can see it uh, fills this little meter at the top and shackles, double cooldown time on your active ability. Active ability for every character at the start is a little dash move, which um, I don't tend to use too often, especially in the first levels, so I'll go ahead and take the shackles as well. Hopefully we can find a shop and get rid of these things ASAP, and yes, there's a shop you can tell from the little light. And please don't kill me, Mr. Tomato Man. 
I do not appreciate that. Why you gotta be so cruel? There we go. Murdering everything with their own uh, toxic goop. That is super nice. I did take a hit there, though. That's all right. There's a heart. I fixed it. I fixed it. I'm good now. So let's see what we can get from the shop. Hello there. I've got a thing for you. And uh, we get loyalty card. Increased chance to get better weapons in the shop. Well, I guess that's okay. I don't necessarily want anything else as far as weapons go. This is a decent weapon to have, so we'll just continue on to the next level. You can see the price is posted there in the shop. How much you need as far as like coins and stuff like that. Get rid of that frogman. Now, when the frogman disappears, you can actually see his feet. I see another frog up here, so I'm gonna try and smack that guy up. See that right there? Gotta be observant. That took me uh, quite a few games to figure out what was going on there. But now that I got it figured, ain't no problem. And here we are, first boss. Swamp boss is a newt. So basically this is the uh, same boss every time. You basically want to wait till he sticks his tongue out, run across the spikes, and get him to uh, stick his tongue, and then you can blast him. But only when he sticks his tongue. And this gets kind of difficult as you go uh, further and further. Because he'll start doing this faster and faster, spitting out more enemies. Obviously, quite a troubling thing, as most bosses do. They don't just want to roll over, you know what I mean? And you can see he's also moving closer to me. Let's go, let's go. Damn it, I missed. The timing is quite close on this. It might be a little better if I'm on the other side of the room. Perhaps. Perhaps and maybe. Yeah, it kind of worked. And he's big enough that my uh, my crappy firing doesn't matter so much. I am pretty close to him. Whoa, I almost missed that one. I was looking at this dude up in the corner. Wondering why he had an X on his head. There we go, a little bit more. So yeah, if you only have two HP, this is a really hard boss fight. <laughs> I failed this one as the platypus an awful lot. Well, that's not going the way I wanted to. That's all right, come on. Got him now. And yeah, this gun doesn't do uh, a whole lot of damage. But it'll it'll do. I fought this boss maybe two or three times. Failed just a few of those times. And now I'm halfway decent <laughs> at getting down. At least not panicking when all these little dudes pop up. That's uh, the main part. You gotta keep your head on the swivel. You know what I'm saying? Let's get rid of these. Come on, stick your stupid tongue out. Yeah, that's what I want. All right, again? Sure, sure, why not? I'll do it all day, kid. So now you can see instead of two little things, he's spitting out three or four at a time. And uh, he is going a little bit faster. So we need to end this battle sooner rather than later. But uh, it's difficult, definitely difficult. As long as you stay on the move, you shouldn't be uh, taking any hits, though. Fucking Hypnotoad. Oh, no! I did get hit just a little bit because his, uh, his little buggy creature activated the spikes. So, get rid of this dude? Not quite. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, man. Harder than I thought with the chicken because, uh, yeah, it's hard to not move. <laughs> Hard to not move so you can have the, the full accuracy, but that's all right. We're gonna get this done. I'll tell you right now, eventually. <laughs> oh, there he goes again. Come on, give me one more. No, not those. That's not what I want. Yeah, that's it. Oh, damn. Okay, we got him, we totally got him. Come on. Oh my god. Alright. Good, good, good. Explodies. Yes. Oh my god. Alright, so we got a key. We got rid of that artifact that said that the key wouldn't work, so that's nice. We also got a couple of extra hearts. Here's a cracked clock. Decreases fade time by half for coins and hearts. That could be troubling. But, uh, I'm always, I'm always tempted by these artifacts. That's part of the game, you know? 
You want to see how much you can uh, hurt yourself, and in the end, you'll end up helping yourself if you if you take the leap. So I'll grab up the cracked clock. That's absolutely fine. Propeller, ability to push enemies away from you. Cooldown is five seconds. Let's see how that works. Oh, that's pretty sweet, actually. Especially if you want to stay still, you can just uh, shove everybody everywhere. What's this idol? Chance to increase max HP instead of HP when picking up a heart? What? That's amazing. So yeah, the artifacts that you pick up that have a positive effect will stay with you indefinitely. So I think that's really, really nice. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and get rid of these dudes. I did activate like a little ghost. Oh, yeah. See that? I got my little push. Oh, it's, it's cooldown's a little longer than I thought. <laughs> Tried to use it again and it was like, nope. Not yet, friendo. So I don't want to shoot this statue lest another ghost come out after me. And I didn't know they would fade after a while. Oh god, there's the ghost. Okay, we're good. We're leaving. Sorry. I'm sorry, bye. <laughs> so I really like the art style of this game. The, the gameplay, obviously, is pretty on point as well. It's hard to go wrong with something uh, that has all the delicious roguelike elements that make it what it is. And that dude exploded himself because he hit uh, a barricade, so that's pretty nice. I'm gonna get rid of Skull Kid here. Hopefully I can find a shop and spend these nine coins. Yeah, there we go. Hey, everybody, I'm back! How, how you living? Here's the thing. What you got for me? A little bit of coins and magic roots. Plus two max HP and plus two HP. Alright then. I'll take that. Medium purple blaster. Hmm, two damage. Pretty big distance. Distance doesn't matter so much because chicken has the distance extended. I could also get the rail gun, but I'll have to steal it, which uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. I guess we'll see what happens. He's probably not going to want to deal with me uh, next time I come to the shop, or for the rest of the game. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but there's no better time to figure it out than the present. So there's quite a long reload time on this railgun, but it is able to do some massive damage. Not bad at all. I poofed that worm, no time flat. Just gotta get rid of these last little dudes. And there, I got the 11 coins now. Can I can I come back to the shop and tell you I'm sorry? <laughs> it was just a loan, bro. I'm gonna use the key that I found and go down here. What is all this then? All right, an extra coin for me? Sure. Maybe if you do it faster, you get more coins. Not quite sure how that works either. Oh boy. Accidentally shot the grave. That's never good. And I want to grab this up. Let's uh, also shoot through here. Super sweet. Am I right? Yeah. Destructible environments. What? What's this token? You drop your collect coins on taking damage. All of them? It's all right. I don't take no damage. Psh. What you talking about? I got a railgun, kid. Oh boy. This uh, mortar launcher worm is going to be a bit of trouble, I can tell you that. And yeah, I definitely have to stay still as the chicken, because having my railgun shoot off in a weird direction is not a good look. I don't like it, I don't trust it. Oh boy. Shove that guy back. Don't forget about your activated ability, that's always important. Oh yeah, super sweet. I can't pick this heart up. I thought I could pick it up and maybe increase my max HP, but I guess I gotta take some damage first. Which is gonna cause me to drop all my coins. So I'm gonna go to the shop and get rid of that thing. The shopkeeper has completely left, so I don't think we're gonna be able to deal with him anymore. I feel kinda bad about stealing his railgun, but it's so tasty! Voodoo doll, reduce HP for all enemies by 10%, effective from next level. For next level? Does that mean it's only effective for a little while? That That's not... That's not good. You can see my art items all stacking up there. Very, very nice. I want some more. I just want a little bit more. I'm gonna make sure to get this. Oh, God. 
Wow, that's bad. Get rid of that dude. I didn't know that's what he does. Usually I just snipe him from afar. But yeah, that is uh, a very dangerous thing that he's doing. Just spinning around and blasting everybody. Blasting everybody! No escape! Infected bandages. Minus one HP every time you enter a level unless you only have one HP left. No, sir! Not gonna do that artifact. Orb of spikes. You can't pick up keys. Okay. I guess that's fine. So we're gonna avoid the boss. Hopefully we can get to another shop. Maybe the other one, infected bandages, wouldn't have been so bad. Because then I could uh, reap the benefits of picking up the, the hearts and whatnot. Hmm. Maybe I made the wrong call on that. I ain't too sure. Oh boy. Gotta get rid of the devil. Kill the devil! Get him out of your life! Alright. Piece of cake. Got him, coach. Alright, so what we got here? Enemy's eye. Minus 40% weapon range. And decreasing fade time for coins and hearts. Alright. I'll take them both, I guess. That'll be decent. How, how far does this thing shoot anyways? It goes like all the way across the screen, doesn't it? Yeah. How about with the reduced range? Still basically across the screen. So, okay. No problem. I'll live with that. As long as it's not reducing damage, I'm a, I'm a happy fella. Oh boy. Got a couple of worms doing their mortar thing. Oh, I got rid of one, so that's, that's nice. Got rid of one and exploded an enemy on the other one. Oh, there's a key there. Unfortunate. I have my artifact that won't allow me to pick up keys, so I cry. Bogey? Oh my god. This is not gonna be good. Alright, you good? Oh no, he sees me! Damn. I can't even shove him back with my little propeller thing. And I gotta keep moving? This is such a bad situation. Okay, maybe if I just stand in the corner, that didn't work. <laughs> Oh my god, I got wrecked. Dang! And all that cool stuff that I collected, gone. Gone, gone, gone. That's quite unfortunate. But yeah, Blazing Beaks, definitely an awesome game. It's at the right price, I do think. So if it interests you, check out the link in the description. Go check it out on Steam. They've also got a uh, tournament mode, which seems pretty cool. Everyone by themselves, last beak standing wins. One gun. Each player starts with the same randomly chosen weapon. Wow, they got all different kinds of modes and whatnot. Probably get some multiplayer going over here. Ah, that's amazing. I'm liking this game more and more every minute. Anyways, if you like this video, friends, I hope that you won't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. That is always appreciated. Even more than that, I hope that you'll check out links in the description not only to this game, but to Twitter, Discord, and Patreon. I'd like to give a big thanks, big shout out to MMX Akira and Nico the Legend for being our current Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for watching, friends. I shall see you in the next one. This has been Blazing Beaks. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Let me know if you want to see some more of this. I'd be happy to play it for you. And until the next time, friends, bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.